So I'm here at one of my new listings. Before we go live on the MLS, I'm gonna stage it. And I wanted to kind of walk you through the process. So as my trunk pops open, I'm gonna start taking everything in and you can see the before and after transformation. Now this is gonna be a super easy house for me to do. She has it amazingly decorated and maintained. So it's gonna be um, an easy stage for me, but nonetheless, I wanna show you the process. So come on and check it out. And I'm just gonna start carrying stuff in. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take an inventory of the house, check out the rooms that need the most um, touching up and they're gonna have the first impression and uh, see what I have to work with. Now I know coming in, everybody's gonna come in this front door. So this is gonna be the shot, the very first impression that everybody sees. So this is gonna be the most important view. So I'm gonna focus mostly here on the kitchen and in the bathrooms. So come on, check it out. Yes, we are robbing Peter to pay Paul. We are taking nails from the trim so we can hang a couple paintings. When I'm hanging stuff, I always stagger it for multiple reasons. Number one, I can't ever hang anything straight. Number two, I aesthetically like things unbalanced. So unless it's a symmetrical thing, then I, then it bothers me. See my good little price right there? $2.99. I liked it because it looks like it's a leather. Little stuff that you never use around your house, like who really uses a mullet or whatever you call these things. And just anything that I can find, I throw together and just move around. That way if it gets lost, left behind, broken, I don't feel too bad about it, but they're still pretty. Michael's is the best place in my opinion to get silk flowers. I like using these in the bathrooms. So this is where I'm gonna go put this in the master bath as a bathroom rug. It adds some texture, keeps things from being too sterile. It's fuzzy. Everybody likes fuzzy stuff. This master bathroom here is pretty cool. It's got a whirlpool tub. It's got a walk-in shower. You can do all this stuff at home. See these little things you can buy at like big lots for like $2. I don't ever unwind them and use them. I just leave them sit out. They're a very easy thing to stage with. Dress your house up if you're gonna have a party or just getting ready to sell it on your own. Cause everything I'm doing here, you can do yourself. Um, just take some tips that I'm, you know, if you have any questions, ask me, I'm glad to help you, but just kind of wing it and make it up as I go, so. See, it's just these little tiny details. Just kind of take it over to the next level. She already has a great shower curtain in here and already has a lot of, appeal. The only thing I did, I don't have that I hope to bring is maybe some hand towels to put here and maybe a garbage can, but pretty easy to do. Even though you normally wouldn't have an old fashioned telephone replica in your house, um, little unique pieces like this just help distract the eye and move you around the space. That's why I'm using things like that. Usually when you see me decorate, I'll either use one single item or there'll be a set of three or five, but I like odd numbers as well. So when you're getting your house prepared for the market, a lot of times what I do is I go over with the homeowner some little trim things that need to be taken. And um, they're gonna go through and they're gonna put all the proper light switches and trim out all the different outlets. But those are things to know to get your house ready for going on the market, um, little stuff like that, just tie those up at the end. This one's cool. And then sometimes you get stuff you don't end up using. There's a bar downstairs too we have to go decorate. So before I get too distracted up here, I'm gonna go down there and we'll take a look at it. Really, I'm just trying to warm up the space. That's the goal. Take these little guys down. Selling your home tip for sellers. 
If you're all confused of what the word fixture means, this is a fixture. It is bolted to the wall. If you don't remove it before we list it, it gets to stay with the house. So this, along with some curtain rods, your gas stove, um, there's a whole list of them. I can put them below, but if it's a fixture, it stays with the house. So you know what you're doing when you're negotiating. Just reevaluating everything spatially. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.